He's been fighting since he's a young boy. Oh. oh, straight into it. Nice right kick. Oh, yeah. Nice high kick from Mitch. And then fired back by Ryan, low by Ryan. And again, he's going high. He's looking for that head kick. Mitch looking very composed. Ryan's, Ryan's actually coming forward. Normally, he has a very, very bouncy style. Looks a little bit more settled this fight. Oh, that one tagged him, though. Already wobbled. But he settles again. Bit of a feeling out process, but not too much still. Not Both too boys much. just staying right in front of each other so they keep the pressure there, trying to and draw each other into making the shots. See who's going to make the first mistake. Mitch's guard is nice and high. Oh, straight out the middle for the push kick. Ryan looking for the fake. Covers against the high kick. Beautiful inside. Looking for that oblique kick. Oh, good catch, but that would have definitely hurt the ribs. You can see the welt already. They're not holding back these boys. Holder, trainer at his gym. Yes. And Brian Black is a production manager at the Advanced Visual Signage. So in his spare time. Oh, oh yeah. beautiful dunk. Beautiful dunk. Now Mitch has been quite active for a few years now. And he's got a couple of belts under him already. And so is Ryan as well. Really good matchup stylistically as well. We know that's going to be entertaining. Ryan's definitely looking for revenge after the last match, I think. Good display of Muay Thai kicks in this first round. Oh, that was a beautiful hook. Mitch is definitely firing the high kicks. Ryan's looking a little bit lower, but Mitch is already now coming in, trying to take the head off. Both these boys gone for the power shot. Every time I've seen Mitch fight, he does damage with those elbows. Yeah. Pretty even support crowd for both of them tonight as well. You, you can hear it. to hear the match. They both got all their friends and family, definitely. This has been actually a very, very close round. Both of them landing big shots. Mitch going a little bit higher. Ryan with the hands and the low kicks. Beautiful round. So we got Ryan in the red corner with the NRT team. Mitch in the blue corner with the Aimer team. And the Brett Grasso. Mitch only just sitting down now. He looks very composed. Telling him what to do. Ryan Black. Kaz is the master of game plans. Yeah. The master of game plans. We're making small adjustments to Ryan's. Ryan's combinations to see if he can just land some of those hands to set up against more, again more of those low kicks. It looks like he's very hunting the legs. Most likely going to be trying to set it up higher towards the later in the rounds, I think. Yeah. Starting at the legs and then going to build up, waiting for his hands drop a little bit. Because Mitch's guard is very high at the moment. That's it. Pretty even first round, though, so... It was definitely even. None of the, none of the head kicks got through for Mitch. But he did tag him. He did, did, did tag him with that big cross that did give Ryan a little bit of a wobble. We'll see if he follows up and gets some big hands on him again in the second round. But then Ryan got his, some big hands on his own, but Mitch has got a solid chin. Very solid chin. That's it. You know with these two boys as well, like you, you can expect those big shots coming like out of nowhere and it's going to land on the other opponent. It's just a matter of who lands it at That's the right it. time. That's it. Both of them have knockout power. Both of them look well prepared, fit, strong. Ryan straight out. 
You can see he's hungry. I've seen him when Ryan fights, he likes to move a lot more. So we'll see if he actually changes up the game plan a little bit more instead of standing in front of Mitch. Starts to move around, use his angles. He has some great footwork. Obviously training under Daniel Dawson as well. Nice leg kick by Mitch. Mitch got oh, oh, a beautiful body shot. And again with a leg kick. See Mitch has definitely stepped it up a notch. Oh, and nice. That's a dump. Again, still Mitch very composed, but oh, overhand for Ryan. Low kick again. It's pretty crazy as well. Like Mitch Holder's only been training for four years. Yeah, to yeah. Display that technique. Pretty phenomenal. He's obviously got that heart in him. Good fighter spirit. Oh, I remember he had a, a fight against one of our boys that was for an Iska title, and it was an elbow war. They both traded for five rounds. Right. Sliced up my boy. There's a couple of good cuts in there. And that's his favorite technique as well, the elbow. Yeah, the elbows. He loves it. He loves it. Again, set through. Oh, letting the hands Ryan go now. the body rip as well. As I said, he's starting to utilize the angles a little bit more, stepping off. That's it. He has very good footwork, Ryan. But Mitch will come forward. He won't stop coming forward. Haven't seen him utilize the clinch yet. He's very strong in the clinch. Has a high work rate. Oh, oh, beautiful oh, balance. Nice balance. Good sweep and nice and, balance. Oh, and low kick. Followed up the body rip. And nothing landed clean there. Oh, he's looking for the high kick. Oh, and again, letting the hands go. As mentioned before, training under Dan Dawson, he does have those good angles and hands as well. Oh, beautiful, oh, beautiful. Nice. Oh, and he's landed in the shots. Like oh, we Mitch. mentioned before, all could take is one shot from both of these guys. Mitch is still looking very composed. Oh, oh there it goes, oh, there it goes. Beautiful hand, my man. Beautiful overhand. Really make it up. He's up to five. He is a tough boy, Mitch. He is a tough boy. He's good to go. He is good to go. We'll see. If Ryan can follow it up. Oh. Ryan, oh, Ryan's cut now. Ryan's cut. That right, elbow landed. And he's firing back. Mitch is not standing still. Oh, again, elbow for elbow. This is a war. The boys are letting go now. They're just standing and trading. Both of them want this title. Oh, stepped in. Oh. Mitch is still a little bit wobbly. Ryan's got... Oh. Mitch, Mitch is out on his feet. He's out on, on his... No, Ryan still... needs to separate. And Mitch needs to hang on. Oh, and he's down again. He's down again. Uh, Mitch is a tough boy to get up. Straight back up from that. You can see he's wobbly on the feet. What's going on with the lights? Uh, power's out. Oh, no, it's a break. What? Two eight counts. Two, that was a beautiful round. Beautiful round for Ryan. He did give, did receive a cut, but I think with the two eight counts, I think he's going to be still happy with that exchange. Oh, Definitely sure. happy. I think Ryan's just going to come in the next round, you know, head hunting a little bit. Mitch has got to be smart. I think he's got to lock on and use that clinch a little bit more. Keep his head in close. Not sit there and straight because Ryan's hands are doing damage right now. Brett Grasso will be giving him That's careful sort of instructions right now. Definitely, definitely. Take deep breaths, get the ice on the head. Get him to settle down a little bit. Yeah, definitely just in those punch, punch exchanges. Ryan has got some power in those hands. Well, you need to turn the lights on, eh? Having a few light issues here at the moment. Hopefully it comes back on. I think Bailey said before they must be using a machine where they put 20 cents in to start yeah. it. <laughs> it's on a timer. Save power. Yeah. Uh, we got Roy now. We got Roy with his phone out. <laughs> oh, there, oh, we, there go. we go. We're back there on. There we go. Gaz doing a little bit of work on the cut now, making sure it's stop the bleeding so it doesn't run down in the eye. It looks like it'll be quite safe. As mentioned before, Gaz is the master of game plans. 
He definitely would have learnt from the first match, and as you can see, he's paying off right now. Yeah. Ryan has definitely taken some cuts before, as you can see, it's probably an old car that opened up. I know when he fought Alex Job, he received a few cuts right up through the eyebrows right there. Uh, that was a fight. Um, quick shout out to the sponsors as well, Carlisle Hotel. Again, if you're looking to host an event, definitely get on down to the Carlisle Hotel if you're in the area. Carlisle, Carlisle, I can't even like, spit out these words. Carlisle Hotel, all the way in Carlisle, believe it or not. And round three, let's go. Mitch is coming forward. Nice leg kick. As I mentioned before, is he going to be utilizing the clinch in the elbows? Oh, he just opened up another cut as well. That's two cuts now, Ryan. He is, he's definitely recovered. Cut. On the cheek now. But Ryan's still using the back foot, angling off of the hands, if he keeps tagging him with those hands. That's it, Ryan definitely taking his time, waiting for that opening but to go head hunting. Two nasty cuts now in Ryan's face. Oh. oh. And of course, Mitch going elbow hunting. He definitely wants to get a pack count back for himself. Just even up those points, I think. Oh, That's three cuts. Now. Three cuts now. One on top of the head. God damn. Those elbows are nasty. Oh. <laughs> the blood is flowing now down Ryan's face. Oh, Jesus. Nice elbow there by Mitch. Definitely the game plan is to come close, get into that clinch range, let the elbows go. And right now it's working for him. Ryan needs to let the hands go and tag the hands. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, beautiful, beautiful combination. Again, needs to angle off. There we go. Oh, landed that overhand again. You can see Mitch is dazed. He's trying to fight back. Mitch, tough as nails. He is a hard boy. Again, this has definitely got contention for fight of the, oh, fight of the night. 100%. Look at the blood coming down Ryan's face, but he looks focused. Just he the crowd as well, you know. <laughs> Everyone's getting on their feet. Yeah. Even if you aren't from one of these gyms, you'd definitely be cheering on for this fight. Everyone loves the blood fest. Oh. 100%. And it's, oh, oh and now Ryan looks a bit dazed. Oh. 40 oh, and again, elbow back. He's hunting now. You can see Ryan's a bit, oh. bit wobbly on the feet. He needs to tag him with the hand, slow him down a little bit. Oh, there's oh, he's oh, 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 can he get oh, it? Can he get knee, his knee, knee. Oh, he's looking for the elbow. Oh, 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 oh. Gets a eight count back. That's definitely going to even up the scores. Is Ryan going to get up? He's up. He's up. You can see he's definitely. I would not like to be judging this fight. I would not like to be judging this fight. Oh, if Mitch can get another eight count here, it looks like he is, he's about to, it does, oh, Ryan definitely needs to get up, he needs to get up, can't wait down too long, he's up to six, he's up again, this fight has Tough got everything, boy, Ryan. He's up. there's been four, four eight counts now, four eight counts, one more, but this has still got a good while left in this round, and Mitch is hungry, oh, there it is, there it is, is he going to get it, and it is, Mitch is fight. Beautiful, beautiful. As I said, as I said, that boy is tough as nails. Tough as nails. I mean, Ryan had an awesome second round. Awesome second round. He could have definitely, definitely could have had that fight. But Mitch, Mitch is as solid as they come. Crowd going absolutely crazy here, as expected. What a turnaround. How many cuts How many cuts has he got in now? There's definitely going to be a few through that hairline. Mitch taking a couple eight counts to the round before and then coming back to stop Ryan in the last, in the and third half. Just get it straight back the next round. That's it. Whatever Brett said to him during that second round, at the end of the second round, it sunk in. It sunk in. But that fight had everything. It had everything. Round three. 
He deserves that green belt. Definitely earned that. I do believe that's his second state title. Well deserved. Maybe even third. I think maybe even third fight. Third title. There you have it. Mitch Holder stops him in the third round in the rematch. Props to Ryan though, you know. 